Has the main feature started yet? No, sir. You're just in time. Drive on. Around the block for the ninth time. <laughs> it's a merry-go-round. Do you know that for the last six months, I haven't seen the beginning or the end of a picture? Every time when we come to the theater, the girl has already been torn from her lover's arms. When we go out, they haven't been reunited yet. I see nothing but unhappiness. Please, for once, let us stay until the happy ending. But, Philippe, you know how people swarm the lobby when the picture begins and ends. It isn't safe. Love is never safe. You must do things dangerously. But think of my position, my husband. I tell you what you will do. I think of your husband if you think of me, huh? Well, has it started? Not yet, sir. You can still make it. Drive on. When we are not together, you do think of me, don't you? Billy, you know I do. What? Now, when, when you think of me, then you think sometimes it might be, well, uh, nice if we kiss the hand. Yes. You see, and when we are together, you lose your nerve. You're being cruel, Philip. A taxi's just not the place to kiss in. No? <laughs> A lot of people would be surprised to know that. <laughs> Well, what about it? Now you're too late. The picture's been on for three minutes. Good. How much? 26 francs. Oh. Give me my ticket and you wait until I'm seated. I'm not disturbing you, am I? One. Two. Seat uh, 66 and 68. How much? 45 francs with tax. 45 out of 100. Second seat, please. Next usher. Yoo-hoo! There's a step there, sir. Oh, is there? Ah, like that. Yeah, good. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> May I come up? I'm in its flight, dear. To the plight, dear, of slow spoken lovers. Just keep that. Might be. Just when we started, we find that we're parted by reasons of propriety. Let us dispense with. Be nice. Will you? Conventions and goals. Let us invent something more. Secret rendezvous. A place to dream a dream or two. Silent as the night. Let me see your program, will you? Like Romeo, met Juliet, I'll come to you. Whispering a song of love. I think this will turn out all right. Oh, our hearts dissemble with kiss, and as we tremble, the stars will all assemble. Oh, these Americans make love any place. A balcon is out of doors. Will be the love I pledge to you.
At last. Now, come on, darling. Why, you! You, you, I bet there's a hug. Dare you? Well, uh, Mademoiselle, I, I thought... Well, that... I don't care what you thought. What's what you did. Down in front. We can't see through you. Oh, 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 oh. Here. Did someone try to steal your bag? Not at all, madame. That, that creature kissed me. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I'm state of affairs. It's all the fault of the government. Of course it is. When the government gets slack, the public morals get slacker. <laughs> <laughs> Our Society for the Protection of Public Morals, of which I have the honor to be the president, will show its power. Who are you, the censor? We censor the censors. <laughs> yes. Mademoiselle. Don't you dare speak to me. I assure you, you are only making matters worse by... Oh, really? You think it was I who kissed you? Oh, did you? Oh, but of course you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you kiss her, yes or no? Madame, in a way, perhaps, you couldn't call it an... Say no more. It's only too clear. You, why, you're a monster. Madame, madame. Uh, 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 uh. You don't frighten me. Well, you frighten me, all right. You scare me to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, madame, I have business to attend. No, no, you don't. Not without attacking me, too. Well, in that case, madame, I won't budge. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, la police. What, what's all ah, this about? the police. There. There, you have the victim. And this is the culprit? Yes. What's he done? Oh, just a minute. One minute. What did she say I did? <laughs> no, nothing of the sort. She's making things up. I merely kissed Mademoiselle, that's all. Is that what all this fuss is about? Yes. Oh, so that's the way you guard the public morals, is it, you police? I'll take your number. Oh, but, Madame, this is absurd. I scream naturally out of surprise, but there's no need to carry on like this. I demand this man be punished. Yes. Be quiet. It wasn't you he kissed. No, if I'd kissed her, she wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> well, all I can do is make out a report. Now, what's your name? I am Hortense. Not you, you. Philippe Martin, Savoy Theatre. Ah, an actor? Yes. Ah. And your name, mademoiselle? Monique Pellerin, Avenue de Bois. Here, the publisher of the Morning Journal. He's my father. Ladies? I'm not interested in some maniac bothering a girl at the cinema. I'm not interested in your organization. As a matter of fact, I'm not interested in you. Monsieur Pierre, I am Hortense. What if the girl happened to be your daughter? <laughs> well, fortunately for me, such is not the case. <clears throat> your daughter, Monique, was the girl at the cinema. What? But I assure you, Cecile, it was a scandal. And you're a girl about to be married. What will Carmel Alfredo think? Oh, he'll think whatever I want him to think. And your father? He'll blame me for it, because I'm supposed to be with you every minute, and I wasn't. Don't worry, my dear. Father will never know a thing about it. Ladies, the incident is closed. That is far from being the opinion of the Minister of Justice. The Minister of Justice? You mean to say you've been to the Minister of Justice? You mentioned my daughter's name? The Minister has the same information we gave to the papers. Papers? What papers? All the papers. Your good name, Monsieur Pellerin, will be defended in spite of you. Just a moment, ladies, please. Kindly leave the defending of my good name to me. And restrict your activities to your own affairs. Good day. You are turning us out, Monsieur Pellerin? Bothering the minister with a little thing like a kiss at the cinema. Why didn't you go to the League of Nations? Ladies, let us leave. Uh, don't let me detain you. <sighs> Sir, I am Hortense. We are leaving. <laughs> I am Hortense. Le... Yeah, such rot, such nonsense. And you, you, mademoiselle, would you make such a fuss about a little kiss? Oh, no, sir. You, uh, you wouldn't slap the fellow's face, would you? Oh, no, sir. Well, it's a matter of temperament, that's all. Is it my fault if a man wants to kiss me? Yes, it is. Unless it's Alfredo. You must think of him.
I am. Oh, but no, no. Have you no soul? Uh, give me something more, uh, uh, more discreet. Yes, my dear Count. We have another here. Uh, ah, yes, here it is. Now, there is something that any woman would like. Yes, but I don't want something any woman would like. Think of this lovely creature. A, um, uh, A lily in the field. Ah, yes. Yes, George? Mademoiselle Pelleray on the telephone, sir. Thank you. Ah, oh, my sweet, my sweet. Hello. When you come to dinner this evening, I want you to tell Father that you and I spent the afternoon together. But, darling, I tell you that is impossible. I was at the Turkish bath. Alfredo, no matter what happens, you're to remember to tell Father that you were with me. All right, adorable. Ta-ta. <coughs> darling. Uh, Monique, uh, what did you do interesting today? Oh, I was with Alfredo. <laughs> Wasn't I, Alfredo? What? Oh, uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, we... Uh, we had lunch in the bar, from there to the dressmakers. And then to the Turkish bath. Um, oh, no, now how silly of me to mention that. Uh, yes, quite. <laughs> well, Monique, go on. Uh, then we went to the cinema. Yes, uh, yes, I was there too. <laughs> well, well, <clears throat> tell me about it. Was it... Uh, oh, most amusing. You should have been there. Yes, yes, evidently I... <laughs> I missed something all right. Hmm? Oh, si, si, shh. <laughs> well, come on. Uh, tell me about it. What... <laughs> what's the mystery? Uh, mystery? Oh, no, it was a musical, wasn't it? Yes, Father. You know, one of those stories where the father locks his daughter in her boudoir and the lover comes along with his ladder and... Oh, now, now, Monique, uh, let me tell it. And, you know, all the time, the father who was down below in the bushes. I didn't see anyone in the bushes. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't you? Then the lover climbs up the balcony, takes the girl in his arms and sings that song. Now, how does it go, Alfredo? Just then the father comes running out of the bushes. Oh, yes. Knocks over the ladder and leaves the two lovers hanging in midair. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, you didn't come to the kiss yet, uh, Alfredo. Well, uh, of course, it always ends with a kiss. It was just an accident. Oh, now, sweetheart, how can you say anything so lovely was just an accident? I said it was an accident. Then you think the fellow meant to kiss Monique? Well, of course, it was a matter of, uh, to kiss Monique. Yes? Yeah. Did someone kiss Monique? Yes. Now, just one minute, please. Monique, am I your fiancé or am I not? Well, if you don't know, I don't know. Yes, but nobody explains to me nothing. I demand to know if you were kissed. I was kissed. By whom? I challenge him. You'll sit down and behave. Give me Edward. Now listen to me, Monique. If you do not tell to me everything at once, I tell your father that I was not even at the cinema with you. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet. If it were left to you, the story would be all over Paris. Hello, Edward. Kill that story. Not a paper in Paris will dare publish it if I say not to. Alphonse. 
Now, where's your crust of bread, Dodo? Alphonse is hungry. Yes, and so is I. <laughs> Never mind about Alphonse. What about the beautiful girl? You know, you sat next to her in the movie and you you kissed her and she stopped your face. Oh, you apologized. She was still angry, still angry. And then, then, then the crazy woman came in and uh, she interfered. What, what did you say? What did you say? Listen, I've told you ten times already. Yes, but I want to improve your performance. Huh. Well, I said to her, I assure you, you are only making matters worse by... Um, that was the wrong line. The line you should have used is uh, Murray's line in the fourth act of The Winner's Divorce. It says, fear not, fair damsel. A kiss is but a paltry thing. Stop it, Otto. You're not prompting at the theater now. Listen, I've prompted 446 plays. I know them all by heart. But you never take advantage of my vast intelligence. But, but this actually happened to me. The police took my name. The police took your name? Yes. They took, and you gave your real name, Philippe sure. Martin? Oh, dear. A thousand beautiful women in Paris never knew my name was Toto. A thousand? You don't say so. Mm. What did they call you? They called me uh, Poo Poo. <laughs> Poo Poo? <laughs> well, Poo Poo, I even had to give the address of the theater. You gave the address of the theater where we, where we play? Well, you gave the address? Oh, my, what a smart boy, what a brilliant mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That silly clock doesn't know I'm up yet. Listen, I didn't set it for getting up. This is the time we are due at rehearsal. But rehearsal? Oh, we've got to go to rehearsal. Oh. What is it? There was someone here to see you three times. Oh, those bell collectors. No, no, no. This was a lady. Oh, uh, uh, was she blonde or uh, a brunette? I didn't see. She didn't get out of a taxi. Oh. Well, thanks just the same. <clears throat> she said she would be back in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, it was her again, eh? Who? Oh, ho, ho, you know. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Save it for the next time. Get down there where you belong. <laughs> well, we've got to have a train dispatcher. Yeah, you. You take it. Me? Do I ring it? Well, you don't blow it. Are you going or coming from the land of love? <laughs> Where have we been? All right, girls, get back to your places. You can stare at him all you want to after the rehearsal. What's the matter with me? You're famous all over. <laughs> Who's his favorite author? Does he prefer blondes? Gentlemen, gentlemen, now there are thousands of Martin living in Paris. Are you sure this one is working for me? Absolutely. He gave the address of this theater. He hasn't attacked anyone around here yet, has he? Sort of a place to... Has he, Felice? Not me, sir. <laughs> it won't be long now. What? Well, you mean you think he might... Any time, any place, anybody. Mr. Meyer, Mr. Meyer. Just a minute, please. All right. 
We'll try it again. All aboard for the land of love. Give me that bell. I'll show you now. Watch me, like this. All aboard, all aboard, for the land of love. Simply rotten. A lot of crazy talk about nothing. Will you stop reading your own publicity and get to work? Yes. Take your coat off. Keep it on. You're fired. I can't have people like, well, what are you? A fiend. A fiend? Well, I can't have any of you getting my theater into disrepute. You're fired. But please, uh, let me tell you my side of it. No. After all, a kiss? After all, a kiss is but a paltry thing. Huh? Man's mad. Call the police. Oh, uh, I'm going. I'm going. You see, that was the wrong line, Toto. Uh, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. You can't take away my cast. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Oh, that, that's what I said. Get out. Well, it's an old line, but it's always good for an exit. <laughs> you, Philippe? Oh, it's you. Oh. What do you want? I'm so upset about the whole thing. I can't eat. My husband is surely going to notice it. Yeah, <laughs> this episode is also going to affect my appetite. I've been fired. Fired? Yes. <laughs> oh, but Philip, you will be brave about it. You won't give me away. No, of course not. What do you say? I beg your pardon? Are you Philip Martin? I have nothing to say. Perhaps not. Not here. Excuse me a minute, Yvonne. Please, don't mention my... This is Mr. LeBlanc, Sheriff's Office. Oh, what do you want? You, to appear for trial before the Court of Correction on complaint to the Society for the Protection of Public Morals. Defendant, the testimony against you is unanimous. Now, what have you to say for yourself? Well, Your Excellency, on the day in question it was raining. You understand. I object. Objection sustained. It was still raining. <laughs> you see, uh, there was uh, nothing else to do, so we... Um, I mean, I went to the cinema with... Uh, you can't go on because you sneaked into the theater alone. I didn't sneak. Or, in a way, I sneaked, but... His sneaking is a confession. I did not confess anything, Your Excellency. I object. You can't object. You're the defendant. Then I deny it. Defendant, do you admit that under the cover of darkness, you attack Mademoiselle Pelleran? Your Excellency, a little kiss is scarcely an attack. What would you call it? Well, we might call it uh, a present. <laughs> I object. Oh, oh, no, if I can't object, he can't object. Objection sustained. <laughs> Oh, well, say, I, I really haven't time for anything like this just now. I'm on my way to a trial. Yes, I know. You are Philip's friend, Monsieur Toto. Yes. I've been chasing you for blocks. Oh, you have? Will you take him a letter? Well, I, I'm late now. You see, I have an hour preparing this basket of dainties for him to have in jail. Do you think they will send him to jail? Oh, sure. He hasn't got a chance. Oh, if you were only a murderer. Oh, but this letter's very important. Yes. Will you deliver it? It's a matter of life and death. Life and death? I'll deliver it dead or alive. Woo -hoo. Defendant, have you ever been sentenced before for a similar, uh... Well, Your Excellency, I must confess I have kissed a few times in my life, but uh, I've never been sent to jail for it. <laughs> well, very well. Now, in this particular instance, 
How did the plaintiff react? React? Oh, uh, you mean uh, uh, during the act? She didn't react. I did, I did. I slapped him. Oh, no, that was afterwards, afterwards. But while I was, <laughs> you didn't budge. <laughs> because I was paralyzed with shock. Your Excellency, I do wish you let me object just this once, because I really don't paralyze people when I kiss them. <laughs> Silence. Silence in the court. Is this where my plan is being tried? Yes. Where do you think you're going? Here? Don't you see that? Public not admitted? Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh, oh hey, how about him? Huh? He has a car. Yes, but I, I have a letter. I have a letter. You must have a car. Bureau 346, fourth floor, second corner to your right, third door. That way. <laughs> Mademoiselle Pereira, I would like you to tell the court just what you felt at the time of the... Uh, <coughs> yes. What any girl would feel? Uh, terror? Well, Your Excellency, I, I can't say terror exactly. Horror? No, I... I can't say horror. Excitement, perhaps. No, not quite excitement. Mixed emotions, then. Yes, that's it. Mixed emotions. Oh. Silence. Defendant, in the presence of the plaintiff, you will now show just how this thing happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. You can demonstrate on the clerk of the court. <laughs> <laughs> That's asking a little too much. Here, young man, where are you going? Arrest him or something. Why didn't you knock? Oh, well, I'm in a hurry. The sign said knock. I will next time. I... What do you want? I want admission to the courtroom, door number, number six. You have to get a form. Fourth floor, corridor to the right, up the stairway. And don't read over my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> oh. What for? Cut to the right, don't you? Uh, the right, I said, don't it over my shoulder. Knock, 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 knock. The only way we can get to the truth of this thing is to reenact the crime just as it occurred at the cinema. Sit down, mademoiselle. Uh, you have nothing to fear. You are in the fatherly protection of justice. Your Excellency, at the cinema she was much nearer. Uh, Mademoiselle, if you please. Nearer. Uh, 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 uh. It's all right. Very well. Now, let's proceed. Before kissing the plaintiff, uh, did you make any advances? He stole my program. Oh, 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 is that true? <laughs> no, I, I didn't steal it. I merely borrowed it. And then what did you do? Oh, nothing. I just kissed her, that's all. Nothing? He called that nothing. Down! Uh, but how? <laughs> how? Illustrate. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Don't you touch me. Well, she, she didn't say that in the cinema. <laughs> I protest. I object. I mean, uh, silence. <laughs> Go away. Come in. Why did you knock? Well, uh, the man up or downstairs, he, he told me to knock. In fact, he was very rude about it. Never mind. What do you want? What do I want? Oh, oh. My very best friend, Martin, he's on trial for his life or death. I, I must have a pass to see him in door number three. You'll have to get a tax stamp. First floor in the corner by the entrance. Oh. You haven't got one here, have you? No! No! Martin, the court is confused. 
It still does not understand the when of the kiss, the where of the kiss, or the why of the kiss. Your Excellency, if I could only explain... I see. You mean the temptation was irresistible. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Your Excellency, you know what love is, don't you? Oh, <laughs> don't ask the court question. Well, it's sort of like being struck by lightning, isn't it? I protest. Against lightning? <laughs> Silence. Now, go on with your lightning. Uh, go on, go on. Well, it happened like this. I was seated next to Mademoiselle. Um, the fragrance of her perfume. Such a subtle perfume, Your Excellency. Charming. Then I was looking at Mademoiselle's ear. Oh, Your Excellency, I do wish the court would come down and take a look at that sweet little ear. <laughs> the bench can see the sweet little ear from here. Proceed. Well, Your Excellency, that ear was saying things to me. The people on the screen were embracing each other. There was soft music, a love song. It went like this. Da, da, di, da, da. Da, 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 di, a, la, la, la. Di, a, la, la, da, da. And then, Your Excellency, I offered up a kiss as my tribute to beauty. Well, <laughs> Defendant convicts himself. In weaving his subtle net, he employed all the insidious devices known to his perfidious profession. A love song. A rainy afternoon. Low lights. And then, at the psychological moment, he struck. <laughs> Philippe, Philippe could only remember the, the defendant's oration from the, from the Merchant of Venice or, or, or Madame X. Madame X, Madame X would be good too. But he won't, he won't. Martin, before I pass sentence, have you anything further to say? Only this. That if I'm convicted for kissing a girl, a beautiful girl, mind you, that it will be the first the first time since the days of Charlemagne that a Frenchman has been convicted for so charming an offense. <laughs> Down through the centuries, we have become known as the most gallant of nations. And now, with one gesture, this court will destroy that noble and inalienable heritage. <laughs> the quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven, as it droppeth upon us, that rainy afternoon. And so, I kissed this beautiful girl. No true Frenchman should question why or wherefore. I only asked the court to study her loveliness. And there, I rest my case. Well, well, well. Silence. Martin, this is not all strictly legal because uh, making allowances for the dear little ear, we find you guilty of merely creating a disturbance in public and inflict a minimum penalty of three days in jail. Three days? In three days, this monster will be free to repeat his crime. Oh, Thank you. Three days in jail, or 150 francs and costs. Oh, I'll pay the fine. 150 francs plus city taxes, plus special taxes, plus government taxes, plus registration fees. Total, 1,000 francs, 80 centimes. Will you please give me the address of that jail? Do I knock or do I not knock? Knock. Knock? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Yeah. What do you want? Well, I have here a permit. I have four signatures. I have a stamp. Now I want a card. 
Are you a French citizen? Yes. yes. What did your mother and father die of? They didn't. <laughs> I'll have to look up your record. My record? Yes, sir. We have on file here a complete life's history of every citizen. Well, I'll be back after a while. Sit down. I'd like to pay the fine in the Martin case, please. Martin, 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 M, 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 M. Still? to go into the trial. What? Why, you told me I had it. To go into the reserve door, yes. Oh, yes, yes. This entrance is public. Oh, this is public. Oh, it's yeah, now yeah. you know, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Now I know. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going into the trial. And the, <laughs> <laughs> the trial is over. Oh, oh, then I don't need this anymore. No. The trial is over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The trial is over. <laughs> What did they do with the Martin? <laughs> they, they put him in jail. Oh, what? He, he couldn't pay his fine. Oh. <laughs> you know, couldn't pay his fine, huh? Oh. <laughs> couldn't pay his fine. <laughs> where they put them, you know, where they, where they, you know, they... Oh, the cell. The cell. You go upstairs, the second corridor... Don't tell me! I'll find it better if you don't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure he'll be released immediately? Immediately. Shut the wicket. This way. Hey! Oh. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Uh, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Are you 666 What? Martin, Martin. Yes, sir, Martin. There's an order for his release. Release? His fine was paid. But who paid it? How should I know? Mademoiselle Pelleron. No! Oh, uh, uh, I am free? Yes. Oh, good luck. <laughs> mademoiselle, mademoiselle, you've made me very happy and grateful. Will you leave me alone or shall I call for the police? Oh, uh, um, do you want to have to pay another fine for me? No, it wasn't for you. No, then why did you pay it? Well, do you suppose I want all this ridiculous publicity to go on? The monster in jail. The monster escapes. The monster released. Monster. Oh, so you don't think I am one, huh? I don't care what you are. I just don't want to have anything more to do with you, that's all. A man who goes around kissing strangers. Oh, but we are not strangers any longer. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see, having paid a thousand francs for one kiss, you <laughs> might hesitate about a second. Well, I'm sure you'll make a discount for an old customer. I will. Oh, mademoiselle, one minute, please. Listen, suppose we're seen. Don't you realize we're standing on a public staircase? Oh, we might go to the cinema. Oh. Uh, mademoiselle, ma mademoiselle, I don't care who sees us or what they say, but I won't let you go until you permit me to repay you. You won't? Uh, no, I won't. All right. Pay me, then. Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid at the moment, of course... Please, I... please. Oh, Toto. Please. Oh, uh, mademoiselle. Uh, Toto, give me a thousand francs. A thousand francs? Uh, then give me a line. Oh. No matter what you've done to me. No matter what you've done to me. I love you. Uh, uh, I, uh, no. I hate you. No. 
I forgive you. I forgive you. Look here, we're gonna have some fun. Him? Huh? Ah, the monster attacks again, eh? <laughs> <laughs> like him. Where is he? You fired him. Yes. I fired him and everybody in Paris is paying money to see him. Huh. That's the trouble with this theater. You just tell somebody they're fired and the first thing you know, they believe it. <laughs> By the way, Jojo, yeah? haven't you an uncle who is rich? Oh, very rich, very rich. And very sick. Yeah, oh, well, he's out of danger now. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Yeah. Oh, he's out of danger? Yes, yes. Then what about him loaning you some... Lo uh... Oh, no, say not. Oh, <laughs> no, no, never. Why, did he cut you out of his work? Cut me out of his life. Hmm. Why? Well, because I look like him. I don't want to go around spending his money. People might think I'm him, and I don't want people to think I'm him because I don't want to look like him. And everybody says we look like each other. Now, I don't want to look like him. But what does he look like? He looks like a dog-faced boy. <laughs> hey, pardon me, just a moment. After all, I'm his nephew, you know, see? Oh. Well, let's see, Auntie. Well, they better be. Of course, they're here somewhere. Uh, uh. Toto, well done. He's come to fire you. Oh, he has already fired me. Maybe he's going to fire you again. Now, will you believe me? No, that soup is almost ready to eat. Ah, a chicken, eh? Now, will you go? No, you're going to stay here and have a fine dinner for them when they get back. I do all the cooking at home, you know. Uh, what, what shall I say? I'll prompt you. I think I'll make some nice onion dressing. If you've come to collect money from them... Not at you... all, my dear. I've come to give them money. Oh, well, I... oh, well, it's a great pleasure. It's a great pleasure. And an honor. And an honor. Calls for a celebration. Calls for a celebration. Get some wine. Get some wine. Oh, uh, a little one. Run down to the corner and get us a bottle of wine. Get two bottles. Oh, get two bottles. And don't come back. Oh, yeah, and a surprise. Oh, yeah, surprise. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. Yeah, surprise to me, too. What were you doing back there? Oh, it's a little game we play called Seek and Go Hide. He hides and I find him, and I hide and he finds me. <laughs> it's a game we play when we're, when we're not working. You are working, you know, both of you. Really? Really? Really. Now, you give me the yogurt that I ate, and you chop up those onions. Very fine. Do you realize what a great injustice you've done to me? Uh, do you realize what a great injustice you have done to me? To both of you? Yes, both of us. Turn your head a little that way, please. A little more to the right. I want to look at your profile. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Is he going to ring the bell with his profile? I thought so. And yeah, there is something there. Only ten days ago, I was saying that that Mata has something, you know. <laughs> Think he has the mumps or the, or the bulges? Is it contagious? Is it contagious? Now, what I mean is you have a real talent. Oh, yeah, that is why you fired me. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't you take a joke, Mata? <laughs> you have a great future in front of you. I've had the whole play rearranged for you. I've even composed a song for you myself. Uh, it's about that rainy afternoon affair, you know, you rascal, you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and you are making fun of my voice. Well, you've got a marvelous voice, haven't you? Has he? Oh, so, so you heard me sing? No, but I never, never mistake a face. Come on, where's that egg? Come on. Oh, salt, 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 salt. Oh, oh. There's a little matter of salary. Oh, 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 there's a little matter of salary. We mustn't forget the salary. 
You like a lot of it? Oh, yes, a lot. Here, cut that up. Uh -huh. One, two, three. It's not enough. Four, five, six. Make it a thousand. Oh, then it's a deal. What are you two talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about salt. Oh, we are talking about uh, francs. You mean you want a thousand francs? Yes. yes. Oh, oh. So you want a thousand francs? A week. In advance. And you shall sure have it. Oh. You took my advice and made yourself popular, and I'm perfectly willing to pay, my boy. <laughs> now put the rest of the stuff in the dressing. You mean to say he came right up to you and grabbed your arm? What did you do? Slap his face? Well, what could I do? How did he get out of jail? Uh, how? Yes, how? You wouldn't know, would you? Are you insinuating? Yes. Mm, well, uh, you paid his fine. What if I did? Wouldn't you? Gladly. Uh, but, but that's no reason he should chase you down the stairs, then. <laughs> he doesn't need a reason for anything. He just does things. Who is it? It's calling. It's personal. It's personal. It's personal. Hello? Yes, this is Mademoiselle Pellerin speaking. Who is it? Who? Who is it? It's Alfredo. Well, of all the colossal impudence calling me like this. I know, mademoiselle, but this is terribly important. Well, if you think I'm going to stand here all afternoon and talk to somebody who has... who is a... Oh, she cut me off. Well, call her again. Then I can't have you phoning me every minute. What do you want? I must see you. I want to pay you back a thousand francs. Settle for five hundred. Uh, th this afternoon? Well, that's impossible. This is the afternoon I go skating at the Palais de Glace. Alfredo. Well. Did you bump your head? Oh, look! That's perfect, Mom. It's the whiskers that do it. I'm sure with whiskers like that and your help, I could learn to skate very quickly. Will you go and let me get up? Thank you. Oh! Come on, I can't let you stay here. You're in everybody's way. Oh, be careful. You're, you're always helping me out. I, I suppose I'll be taking you the rest of my life. Well, I hope you don't consider this a permanent arrangement. Ready? It's a very nice arrangement. Come on. I don't often come here like this without my chaperone. Except today. Well, she just had to have something else she wanted to do. We'll see. And 
And as we tremble, the stars will all assemble. A horoscope of bliss. 99, the first pizza. Deeper than the blue will be the love I pledge to you. I really must be going. Oh, I forgot I wanted to pay back a thousand francs. Well, then that ends the matter. I won't see you again. Why should you? Oh, I'm afraid I couldn't pay back a thousand francs at one time. You see, I thought you would permit me to pay back a little every day, say, a hundred francs. Then that would take ten days. by Mademoiselle Agda, Queen of the Ice. Will everyone please clear the ice? Thank you. Lily. It's an ill wind, my dear Pellerin, that doesn't ruffle the feathers of the rooster and settle the feathers of the goose. Goose? Uh, that little lamb. You can't use my daughter for your cheap publicity. But what a daughter. My compliments to you, my dear sir. And what publicity. My gratitude to your daughter. That little Lily lamb. Don't forget that I'm not in the newspaper business for nothing. I'll start a scandal that'll ruin your theater. Another scandal? What cooperation? <laughs> <laughs> More good news, huh? Send complimentary tickets for the opening night to Monsieur Pellerin and get me the news for Dr. Rodin beyond the stage. See here, Monsieur Pellerin. There is something going on about here that I do not know about. Something you do not know about, but something Monique does know about, and something I'm going to find something out about. I see. In other words, something. Monique! Paris has gone mad. Paris has always been mad. I am mad, too. Yeah, you've always been mad. Yes. And now I'm mad. Yes, you should be mad too. When every girl on every street goes about singing that foolish song and expecting something wonderful to happen to her. That song. See, even you are singing it. Well, so are you. Me. Well, anyway, it's a good song, and I like it. And so do I. <laughs> Monique! Well, where are you going? Skating. What again? Well, it's marvelous exercise. You know I never felt better in my life. <laughs> you see, she's proud of it. It makes her feel good. What on earth are you talking about? This. What a picture. Hmm. It's good of Martin, though, don't you think? Well, I, um... Uh, 
I look simply frightful, though. Exactly. Frightful. And where were you while this was going on? Me? Well, Father, I don't need a guardian every afternoon. No, you need a regiment. Well, Father, can I prevent him skating if he wants to? I can, that Mephisto. I'll prevent his skating, I'll prevent his kissing, I'll prevent his living. That's enough. You'll do nothing of the kind. You go on back to your room. Both you girls, back to your room. Go on. From now on, I'll handle this matter myself. Myself. Oh, quiet, 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 quiet. It's an outrage. Keep his waiting like this. He's an hour late for dress rehearsal. And what is he anyway in English? Yes. Think that I, who made him, created him. Lifted him up from a mere nobody to a great star and, and overnight, face in every newspaper, his name in lights. It was I, I. So it was you, the, you're the fellow who kissed a girl in the cinema, huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. <laughs> that reminded me to remind Martha to do it again. <laughs> I'm a respectable woman, I tell you I am. I admit it. In fact, I'm in favor of it. Oh, but I can't stand this concealment any longer. Can't you, baby? No. Either we must face your husband, or we must part. Philip, must we really? What is there left to do? Yes, yes, I understand. But how will I ever forgive myself for breaking your heart? Oh, the... Oh, that's all right, little woman. Is that him? Yes. Who's the girl? It doesn't make any difference. It's a girl. Goodbye. Yes, I know how you are suffering, Philip. You are suffering, aren't you? What? Why? Naturally. Well, if we are saying goodbye, you may kiss me for the last time. You mean for the first time? Have a good rest? Yes, thank you. I trust this dress rehearsal is not going to be too much of a strain for you. Oh, not at all. No, oh, thank you. Simply lovely. Of course, I thought it was going to be different, but look at us. We're just as unready as any company at a dress rehearsal. Back to your places. Come on, move. Hurry. You move like snails. Snails. Oh, you shut up. I know my line. Okay, I just want you to run over the new lyrics to the song and put some warmth and some oomph into it, you know? Piano. Now, rain was dripping. I was slipping, and so I thought to see a movie would be ripping. Yes, that's fine. Splendid, excellent. But more warmth, my dear boy, more... Mm -hmm. Well, apparently I haven't so much... Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to play you. Oh, that's a bad piece of casting. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be you for the time being. Now, I'm going to sing the song that all Paris is waiting to hear. And you must imagine me coming down the aisle and taking my seat, just as you did in the cinema of the famous Kiss, and you'll sit next to Clara. Clara? 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 Yes. Clara is going to play the Penelon girl, you see? Another bad piece of casting. Um, How do you know? You've never kissed me. Well, I did. <laughs> Quiet, poo-poo. No, no, come, 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 come. Now, this is how it must be sung. The mask of comedy concealing the throbbing heart of romance. Now, you follow me, it'll be quite easy. Uh, my key, please. Uh, now, the first part's unimportant, you see, because everybody just tells the story and everybody knows the story, so... Uh, all right, you know. Mm. The rain was dripping and I was slipping, and so I thought to see a movie would be ripping. It was a dark beer, so nice to park there, especially on that rainy afternoon. A lovely stranger sat there beside me And there was danger but no conscience there to guide me I squeezed her hand then, it was so grand then On that lucky rain, rain, rainy afternoon Upon the screen there was a scene of love supreme But in between I caught a glimpse of loveliness divine That stole away this heart of mine Believe me, mister who could resist her? Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. <laughs> There's another way to do that. You know, you could 
You could kiss her before you sing the word. Kiss her. We'll try that again. Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's better to kiss her after you say the words kissed her. It gives you a little more time. We'll be done some Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. The story's simple, a saucy dimple brought us together on that rainy afternoon. You did that very well, Martha, very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, shall I try it again? Okay, if you like, yeah. All right, come on, Clara. No, 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 no. I was busy. Lulu, you come and understudy Clara from Mr. Martha, will you? Oh. How long have you been employed in my theater? Hmm? Martin! Yeah? Just a minute, you're the fellow I'm looking for. How do you do? Uh, is it about Monique? So, you call her Monique, do you? Oh, I can explain that. That's yes, well, I'm not here for an explanation. This friendship, if that's what you call it, must cease. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, I am deeply indebted to your daughter, but... Uh, as much as I would like it to be otherwise, our friendship is nothing but a business arrangement. Business? Yes. You see, after she paid my fine and got me out of jail, well, the least I could do was to pay her back. Monique paid your fine? Yes. Why, if I... This. Why did she pay your fine? You see, she realized that as long as I was in jail, the whole incident would be in headlines in the papers. So to avoid any more publicity, she paid my fine. I'm only interested in there being no more scandal. And as you are a gentleman uh, that respects Monique... Respect, Monsieur Peller, and there's nothing in the world I wouldn't... Well, then, for Monique's sake, I hope you will use discretion, good judgment, and good taste. And no more scandal. For Monique's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Martin. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Team. Oh, I'm delighted. I'll show it. Oh, precious. Monique. Monique. Oh. Monique, wait. Oh, you, you kissing women in taxi cabs? Who? Just so that you can get your pictures in the paper again. What do you do, hire photographers to follow you? Oh, that was the girl I thought I was kissing in the cinema. But I was just saying goodbye to her forever so that you and I could... Um... Oh, let me go. Look, the monster! Oh, no, no, not me. Him, him. Larry, come along. Oh, you, me. Here, you. There's your monster arrest, him. Uh, him, all right. I saw his pictures in the paper. What have I done? Oh, just a minute, please. Are you going to let him do this to me? No violence now. Dear, oh dear, I'm ruined. I'll have to give all those people their money back. If you still had one to give them back. If I still had it, yes. Do you realize that the curtain goes up in a few hours? Yes. And you haven't got a leading man? Ah, yes, you have. I'm in perfect voice. I have 15 years of experience behind me. Behind you. Have you ever kissed a girl in the cinema? I've ever kissed one? Just yeah. one? One girl? One? Hmm? Yeah. I have it. Here is understudy. You can understudy behind the bars. <laughs> I am no convict. And you're no singer. But you're a prompter. It's your job to think things up. Yeah. We'll take a taxi and you think. I think we're all going to jail. That's what I think. Monsieur Perrin. Monsieur Perrin. You don't seem to realize. You don't seem to realize. That, that, that our particular... Our particular... Gentlemen, 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 you don't make sense. 
Now, what is the time? Now, what is this all about? Marta is in jail and I am ruined. Yeah, he's ruined and Marta is in jail. <laughs> Will you kindly keep this echo of yours quiet? It's quiet. 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 I don't see that either fact interests me. Monsieur, your mother has been caught again in a trifling indiscretion. Mere trifle. He attacked your daughter again. <laughs> again? The first time was an outrage. But if there's a second time, it's a triumph. Ah, don't try to keep guessing what I'm going to say. I mean, what you should say. Huh? Something has got to be done, monsieur. To help you, I would do nothing. Oh, thank you very much. But to keep my daughter's name unblemished, I'd move heaven and earth. Now, the world. Oh, the world, well, maybe I cover a little too much territory. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, Marta is in jail. And, and you're ruined. ruined. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> Hello there, daughter. still have the headlines. Oh, how long do you think they'll keep him in jail? Maybe forever. It's his second offense, you know. And he's considered dangerous to the entire womanhood of France. Oh, that's absurd. If he doesn't appear at the theater tonight, he'll never get another chance. Oh, then it's his career you're interested in. Yes. Please stop being an important publisher and be an important father. But, but Your Excellency. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I have had a hundred telegrams. My phone has been driving me mad all afternoon. An army of women, some beautiful, some so-so, are now waiting in my ante room, all... Demanding his release? Exactly. You mean to tell me that you want to be the first man to go down in history to refuse a thousand women? No. Uh, yes. To uphold the law, I'd refuse any woman anything. Who is this man? He's the Minister of Justice. He is he? Are you? Are you really? Yes, really. No, well, hello, how are you? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. You let me have Martin for one month, and I'll let you have him for ten years. Now, very generous offer. But it's entirely without precedent. Did Napoleon wait for precedent? Why don't you confess that you're the monster? Why don't you confess that you're an idiot? Well, I don't mind. It's well, all right, then. Do you think have it in a very fine point has been raised by the idiot. I mean, this gentleman here. A fine point about Napoleon. Like him, I adhere to my decisions. In this case, I could do absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Nothing. Uh, pardon me. Hello. Oh, oh. Hello, darling. It's my little wife. The Empress Josephine. Yes, my darling, yes. You haven't forgotten about the new review that's opening tonight, have you, darling? Oh, oh, darling, I'm sorry. I, an affair of state, this is... Uh... I know, but I have a new dress. Oh, uh, it's an affair of state. I want to go, and I have a new dress. Oh, oh, my, no, my darling. Uh, uh, yes, my darling. No, my darling. Very well, my darling. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, that really was my little wife. <laughs> you know, on second thought, uh, Napoleon was also open-minded. Mm. If I grant your request... Oh, thank, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, 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 but before I release Martin, you must first get the signatures of the chief of police the uh, inspector of prisons, the keeper of the seals, the registrar, commissioner. <laughs> Here comes the most important fiancé in Paris. How is it? Oh, but Monique, my sweet, hurry, hurry, you'll be late for the opening. How can I be in the opening with Martin in jail? Oh, no, no, no. Have you not seen the extra just out? He is being released. Meraviglioso. <laughs> well, I don't understand why you should be so delighted about that. Haven't you heard? Mario knows Martin is no actor and is just exploiting him. As an actor, he will be a colossal flap. 
Tonight, the audience will jeer him off the stage. <laughs> I wouldn't miss that for anything in the world. They wouldn't dare laugh at him. Yes, all afternoon I have been practicing my hiss. Alfredo, if you so much as that were a hiss, one little hiss or even a shush, I'll... Now, Monique, if you do not permit me to hiss him, I... I break off the engagement. You will? Most likely. Come on, Father. You're not dressed for the theater either. Wait a minute. I've torn up the tickets. All right. I've got four seats with the compliments of the manager. Oh, all right. <laughs> Here's the release. Here's the release. Take it. Take it. Take it. Honey, Philippe, you're releasing when the show starts in 15 minutes. Come on. I'm not interested. What? I'm going to stay here. Well, after all the trouble we went to get you out? Yes, I'm staying here. I'm not going to be made a fool of any longer. Headlines, photographs, fan mail, my name in lights. Not because I'm an actor or singer, but because I'm a freak. Well, you tell your newspapers that the monster has retired to private life in jail. It's that Pelleran girl. I heard you, Toto. Do you think that I'd be interested in a girl that allows them to arrest me just because uh, I kissed another girl, a girl I don't care that much about? Oh, then you kissed the wrong girl again. <laughs> uh, that's marvelous. I can just see the headlines tomorrow morning. Monster weakened. Disappoints audience. Refuses to face music. Rejects career. And Monique will see it at breakfast, and she'll turn to Papa Pella, and she'll say, I was right to let them arrest him. He turned out to be a coward after all. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Tell the orchestra to play the overture. They've already played it. But tell them to play it again. Where's my dance dress suit? Bruno has it on, but I got the bell. You will be fortunate if the imposter does not appear. Then I shall assume my rightful place. The show must go on. Yes, and if Martin gets here, those clothes come off. Huh. Hurry, hurry. You better start getting undressed. Program, Thank you. This seat is reserved for Monsieur Martin. It's part of the show. Oh. I beg your pardon. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm the wrong seat. A hundred francs if you get us there in time. And a black eye if you don't. Start the show. Bring up the curtain. Love supreme, but in between, 
<laughs> I caught the glint of loveliness divine that stole away this heart of mine. Believe me, Mesta, who could resist her? Before I knew what I was doing, I had killed her. A sorry temper, a saucy temper, brought us together on one rainy afternoon. Love has the funny habit, it takes you on nowhere. Just when you least expect it, it's right beside you there. Love came and did I nerve it, and incidentally, look what one rainy afternoon brought me. The rain was dripping, and I was lifting, and so I thought to see a movie would be ripping. It was so dark there, so nice to park there, especially on one rainy afternoon. A lovely stranger there beside me, and there was danger, but no conscience there to guide me. I squeezed the hand and knock it was so grand that, that lucky rain, rain, rain the afternoon. Upon the screen there was a scene of love supreme, but in between I caught a glimpse of loveliness divine. Believe me, mister, could you resist her? Before I knew what I was doing, I did. You're not offended. No. The story's ended. Thanks to one rainy afternoon.